now you come to the important game and in this new system or new format a one-off um, is a very difficult task and I think uh, that's something that the coaching staff has been through before but uh, not many of our players have. There's no other recourse but to win the match. There's no tie, obviously you can't lose, so whatever is required that day, all 20 players, all staff members are willing to do to make sure we advance to the World Cup. It's a great feeling because it's very plain and simple. You know, win the game. So it's a different kind of pressure, a uh, different kind of experience for the players, and I think very important that uh, they come out and, and play it the same way that they played the first two games. Make sure that you adjust to what they give you. Maybe they come out in a 4-4-2. Maybe they come out in a 4-4-1-1 and really defend with a block of eight or nine sometimes. Now we might find some other ways maybe to penetrating. Fortunately, we've been in one-offs where we've played the home team against a really hostile crowd like in Panama um, a couple of qualifiers ago. And so uh, we've been through that experience. Uh, we've come out on top in every one of those experiences I've been involved in. And, and they're difficult. The crowd's going to be in the favor of the opponent. And I think that's a huge factor. But a factor in a way that those are the games you want to play as a player. If we win our battles, guys, not only here, but in midfield, right, we'll, we'll win this game. So we've got to be aggressive, smart aggressive, not stupid fouling. We've got to win our battles. Keep moving our feet. Put a little body on somebody, all right? Force them in tough angles. I think for our players, is it's not an easy game. Even though you're playing, you know, this is sort of for all the marbles because we're here to go to the World Cup number one. So this would be our first goal in this tournament is to qualify to the World Cup. Um, we realize we're playing against the home team. That's always difficult. So you're playing against the team, you're playing against the crowd that at, in, at times can come in and out. And the crowd will, will influence them a little bit, but not a lot. Right? And expect the unexpected always. The all 20,000 people, not one of them will kick a ball. Uh, they can cheer as loud as they want, but it's our 11 against their 11. As the tournament runs deep, uh, video becomes more important because we can draw on past games, both ours and our opponents. So we've obviously been you know, putting a compilation together of all our clips, all our opponent clips, because you're not sure who you're going to play against, obviously. So through the course of this whole tournament, we've been gathering video on everybody and analyzing it and highlighting it and putting together different sequences so that when the moment does come and we're presented with an opponent, we have ideas as to what we're going to show the players and we have ideas of how that will fi fi uh, factor into our game plan. We feel that we, we, we have a, a team right now that can do a job against, uh, against Guatemala, the home side. Uh, we tweaked our, our system a little bit and a play out of a slanted 4-3-3. Uh, Bobby Wood became a little bit a victim of this, this system. Bobby has a little bit of a nick and I just feel right now that we need 11 players that are totally fit both physically and, and, and mentally. Uh, Bobby can help us probably coming off the bench. We looked at matchups both in defensive end and, and the attacking end and we felt uh, with two subtle changes, one lineup change. Uh, Moises uh, Hernandez will start as our left fullback. We're pushing Greg Garza in front of him because we feel like Greg actually uh, has played very well on both sides of the ball uh, but gives us a, a good option going forward. Uh, and we felt that the matchup for Moises against probably the fastest player, uh, number seven, would favor us as well because Moises is, is, a, is a quick and a little bit of a tougher and harder defender than, than Greg is as well. Who's been in a pressure qualifying World Cup situation before this team? Greg, raise your hand, Barnes. We, 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 got, we got quite a few guys that have been there, that have been in these experiences, right? So we can draw upon those as well and be totally confident going into this third. It's a do or die game with a lot of confidence. We're very lucky in terms of having a team that is full of professional players practically. Uh, and they're a little bit used to the pressure, but a lot of them have not been able to live this, this particular experience. So I, I think that we're gonna rise to the occasion. And I think that what's gonna prevail is our talent. And I think we have a lot of it. Under his left foot, Perry. Perry, left foot, left foot. Tackles Perry. Push him wide. Keep him wide, tackles, tackles. 
Well done. Eh? Also, you guys making some good decisions. Took us one round to get into it, all right? Might be too late in the game. So from the opening whistle, a tap right there. That's the one, Mo. Well done, eh? The last round, much better, guys, much better. We have to bring that, guys. We have to bring that. We look forward to, to playing uh, against the whole country, so to speak, because it's us against uh, Guatemala. It's been pretty much uh, the theme for the last few days, and I have a feeling that, that uh, that the guys, or I know for a fact, that are actually looking forward to this contest and, and know it's going to be hard, uh, but see it as a great challenge to, uh, uh, to get the result that we need to go to, uh, to the World Cup.